Right, good evening and welcome to Facebook Live where today we have the frying pan out because tomorrow is Shrove Tuesday. Everybody will be making pancakes. So what I'd like to suggest to you guys is how to make some healthier protein pancakes. So protein pancakes is what we're making today. Now, it's the, from, what, from what I learned last week from Pinch of Nam, I'm adapting my protein uh, pancake recipe. So listen up, let's make some pancakes. They're going to be about 300 calories, okay? And you'll see compared to the ones I made last week to how they shape up. So let's get going. I'll show you exactly what is in them. So first of all, uh, there's one scoop of protein powder. So I don't know whether you have protein powder, but this is the one I use. It's by Arbon. Um, in my clubs, I sell them in little packets as well. Um, so if you've got a packet, it's half a packet, or if you've got a bag, it's one scoop. So one scoop, which is 80 calories. And then we have half a tablespoon of cow cow, which is chocolate. We have half a teaspoon of baking powder, 125 ml of almond milk, and this is where I've changed the variation. This is what I've learned from Pinch of Nom. So the next ingredient is a tablespoon of coconut flour or any flour. Um, but basically what I've learned from Pinch of Nom is this is a tablespoon of oats and I've blitzed that up in my liquidizer to make oat flour. So I'm going to be using oat flour today. Um, and then my other ingredient is two eggs. So what we're going to do, because I'm going to blend it in my liquidizer as well, I'm going to put all the ingredients in here without smashing my eggs. So in my liquidation smoothie maker, I'm just adding the two eggs first of all. If you've got any good recipes for pancakes, please share. I shared with you last week the one from the Pinch of Nom. Um, which has got apple in it and as we said made from oat flour as well so that is the two eggs then I'm adding the 125 ml of almond milk now you may have noticed I'm not using unsweetened almond milk now the reason I'm not using unsweetened almond milk to be honest I've stopped buying unsweetened purely because the calories are so little between sweetened and unsweet and the taste is completely different. If you always buy unsweetened almond milk, I suggest you try just normal almond milk because it is so rich and so sweet. Um, I can't believe just a tiny little bit of uh, obviously sweetener in it, sugar, makes so different. So I'm using regular milk and it really will transform your porridge as well. So that's 125 ml of almond milk. Then baking powder, it's just half a teaspoon. So half a teaspoon of baking powder thrown in to the mix. Then it's the cow cow. So this is just regular cow cow, which as I said, is just basically chocolate. Dun, dun. And as I said, I've already scanned all these ingredients in my fitness pal, and it came up to about 300 calories. And then the final ingredient, as I said, is what makes the protein pancake proteiny, and that is one scoop. Let me just show you inside. Look, you get a scoop. So I'm just adding one scoop, not heaped, one level scoop into here without it going everywhere. There we go. I did it without throwing it. Okay, so in here, I've got my oat flour, I've got two eggs, almond milk, cow cow, protein powder, and the baking powder. So those are my ingredients. And then I'm going to put the lid on. It does actually say in the ingredients to uh, mix it up and leave it 10 minutes, but we haven't got time. We haven't got time for that. If you were making it at home and obviously you did want it to rise nicely. 
So just blitzing it. Again, make sure it's got eggs in, so really important to really mix it up. And again, I'm gonna put it in again. Now I can see uh, Pam Singera has joined the video watching live. Now Pam bought a great mixture from Costco and it's quite low in calories. So on Wednesday evening we will be making more pancakes. But as I said, this is the protein version. So this is your mixture. You can see it's still got some bits on the side there. So just shake it as much until it looks nice and great. And obviously it's a nice batter. Then in my pan, as, all, as you know, I hate, I hate, I hate fry light. So we're just gonna use one spray of British cold pressed rapeseed oil. So let's get that on. There we go. So this is, I've got my rapeseed oil in this very fashionable rose gold <laughs> sprayer. The Costco ones are amazing. Pam, we will find out how amazing they are on Wednesday. So what I'm gonna do is just one spray. That's it, that is it. I'll have two spray. Two sprays, okay? And then this is the important bit. Make sure you've got one of these, especially a fun one with hair like me. And then just do it around a little bit. Okay, so this is the really important bit. There we go well oiled pan so let's heat that bad boy up now looking at it now remember this is i said 300 calories but that's for all that mixture so obviously if you wanted a 100 calorie one pancake then you're going to use a third of that mixture so don't be scared of the calories in pancakes because to be honest the portion you do, you're not just going to have one and obviously if you wanted to get a mini pan I make lots of little ones, that's even better. And you could make one of those stacks, couldn't you? So, I want a nice warm pan, so we'll give that another couple of minutes. Um, just talk about what we're gonna add on top of them. I've got some, look at these strawberries I got from Aldi today in Hilton. They're really, you know the strawberries, they just, last week they were really anemic, but this week they're really beautiful color. I've got a horrible feeling because of Valentine's, they're making them, they're adding some sort of colorant or something. But no, this is why. These are from Morocco. Uh, I'm not sure where they were last year, but last week, but they weren't from Egypt, which is the nice one. These are from Morocco, so that's obviously why they've got a good tan. Um, and, <laughs> and then I'm gonna sweeten them up, either chocolate sweet freedom or try the fruit syrup, and that's only 13 calories per teaspoon. Now, because these calorie, these pancakes are not gonna be that bland anyway, I'm literally gonna have half a teaspoon. So you're talking like seven calories just for a tiny little bit on top of the strawberries. Obviously, if you've got sweet strawberries, then you may not even need any sweetener. Now, my pan is heating. Look, can you see the steam? So that means it's nice and warm. Now, at this point, you need to turn your heat down. So as soon as you've got it hot, turn the heat down, and then let's go. Let's see how many pancakes we can make out of this mixture. Now I would probably say that is gonna make three. Right, so let's make sure it's nice and even. I've had a lot of comments about the uh, video with Pam Singer <laughs> last Wednesday evening. If you didn't watch it, there's a little girl called Gia uh, and she was my co-host. Um, people have been saying, is she taking over your YouTube channel? And the answer is probably yes. <laughs> no, because she's going to have her own one soon. Um, obviously, lots of people commenting as well about the lovely Millen who... Uh, came in and added loads of cream and things like that, which of course is a good option, especially if you are looking to balance your 
um, your metabolic type, you need to add some protein, then cream is a protein. Don't forget that. So it has got some health benefits. Now you can see it's bubbling away nicely. If you've never used protein powder before, as I said, um, I wouldn't suggest to buy a, a big massive thing like this. Uh, just a little, buy a little sample pack. Uh, a lot of places like Poundland and stuff like that do protein powder. Uh, the only thing to be careful with, make sure you don't buy one with sweetener in. So a lot of the diet ones have obviously got sweeter and they've got that horrible aftertaste. So buying something a little bit more natural. Like this one has got a bit of real sugar in it, which uh, uh, obviously health wise is the best. Now. The smell is drifting near the camera. It smells absolutely amazing. So, oh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of being back in Belgium, <laughs> the smell of waffles. That's what it smells like. So I'm just gonna make sure. Right, I'm gonna go for it. Oh yeah. Oh no! How annoying! Right, I should have waited longer, is the lesson there. I tried to do it too quickly, guys. Right, let me try and salvage this. You can see the consistency is actually quite nice there. I was so excited, I so thought I was going to be doing the perfect pancake there. Failed. <laughs> this is why sometimes you're better just to toss straight away, don't even worry about these. Right, this one will be ready quite quickly. I'm going to turn the heat back up because I want this out of this pan. And we'll try again. We've got enough time, so we will try again. Now it is really important to make sure your pan is oiled. Because we have pre-oiled it, what I'm going to do is add one more uh, squirt. Now Teresa's here. Jody, what are you doing? <laughs> is it cooking? Yes, it is cooking, Teresa. Um, I'm going to get another plate because I'm determined to make you a perfect one. Let's get this out of the pan. Right, so now because the, um, the pan is pre-oiled, I'm just going to put one squirt in. Now make sure using one of these that is okay with hot, because I've used one before at my friends and it was not okay with hot, but that hasn't melted, so that's okay. Okay, take two. I'm going to give that a little shake. I'm going to throw that in. Perfect. Okay. Now remember, don't have the pan too hot. So... I'm going to turn that down slightly and I'm just going to show you the consistency. So because we put it in the liquidizer, the smoothie maker, that has made it all bubbly and nice. Look, can you see that? You can see the bubbles as if it was a real batter. Delicious. Right, Teresa's saying, what am I cooking? What is that? This is a protein pancake. So nice. So obviously the good thing about this, it's not just for pancake day, because this is half carbohydrate and half protein because of the protein powder, you could have this regularly. When they're fresh like this, Tastes so good. Right, my other one's looking good. I'm gonna end up just eating all, all this. As I said, it was making three, so you're talking 100 calories for this. Add some fresh berries. Oh, I don't know that. Amazing. 
Alexa decided to talk. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa's still butting in. Right. Butamir is spelled B U T T E. Alexa, I didn't ask you to how to spell buttermilk. <laughs> Alexa, no. Right, so. I can't so. find any enabled video skills that can do that. Go to the Alexa app to manage your video skills and devices. Ready? Yay! Perfect pancake. Look at that. Perfect. Whew, I was a little bit worried there. <laughs> the pressure was on. So this is going to be the perfect pancake. And as I said, I'm going to do the topping now for you. And I'm going to add, look at the amazing strawberries from Morocco via Aldi Hilton. So what I'm going to do is just wash that big strawberry. Cut the top off. Obviously cut it in half. And then I'm going to turn out my perfect pancake. Add two little strawberries and then, as I said, a tiny little bit of syrup. Ta da! That's a 100 calorie protein pancake. Thank you very much. Uh, for more of my videos, go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Over and out. Happy Pancake Day. Bye.